Republicans are pulling at all the stops to get out the vote. Yeah, there was a large rally tonight in Franklin Square. Our Kevin Vesey was there and he joins us live. How'd it go, Kevin? Well, Doug, there were hundreds, if not thousands of people packed into a parking lot tonight here in Franklin Square for this rally. And I can tell you there is a lot of confidence on the part of Republicans, both on the part of their candidates and Republican voters. They believe that in about 24 hours from now, they'll help shift the balance of power in Washington and elect a new governor. A fired up Lee Zeldin took the stage in Franklin Square. The shining star at the top of New York's Republican ticket, speaking in front of a shoulder to shoulder crowd, hoping to be the first member of his party elected governor of New York in decades. We're going to get to work for the next 24 hours. We are going to fire Kathy Ockel. We are going to end one party rule in Albany. We are going to restore New York to glory. Republicans were beaming with confidence ahead of Election Day, promising to end bail reform, reduce crime, and bring down inflation. Hempstead Town Supervisor Don Clavin carrying a broom, hoping for a sweep at the polls, and promising his party will clean up Albany and Washington. Tomorrow, we need to work all day, nonstop. Congressional candidate Anthony D'Esposito took aim at the House Speaker and other prominent Democrats. We need to fire Nancy Pelosi. We need to fire Chuck Schumer. And we need to fire Kathy Hochul. D'Esposito's opponent, Democrat Laura Gillen, wrapped up her final day of campaigning at this event in Long Beach. She says this election is one of the most important of our lifetimes. I'm going to protect women and their autonomy over their bodies. I'm going to protect our children and our community by getting guns off our street. I'm going to protect our democracy. Democrat Robert Zimmerman, meanwhile, campaigned with Congressman Tom Suozzi. And what unites us is our commitment to our nation, commitment to our communities in the 3rd Congressional District, and to stand up against extremism. But Republican George Santos says the momentum is on his party's side. This is where it all comes down to, so I'm pretty happy. I'm excited. I look forward to tomorrow and, you know, the people's voice will be heard and I feel very confident that I'll be the new congressman for the 3rd Congressional District. And George Santos, who you just heard from, also ran for Congress two years ago, but that time he was defeated by Democrat Tom Suozzi. And Doug, you remember that last year we had what many people had called a red wave, a lot of victories for the Republican Party. This time around, they're hoping to rack up even more wins. All right, we'll have to see what happens. How about uh, candidates further down the ballot? Were they out there as well tonight, Kev? They were, yeah. They had just about every candidate out here tonight. So we also heard from four Republicans who are running for state Senate here in Nassau County. And what they're hoping for there is that they can flip some of the seats from Democrats to possibly take away the Democrats' supermajority in the state legislature. So, yeah, we'll have to see tomorrow how this all shakes out.